Hello everybody, welcome back to another brand new Aviation Jack video. I hope you're doing really well. You can probably hear in the background the MSFS music, or FSX music as um, it used to be, still is now I suppose. Um, so welcome to episode 2 of the VATSIM tutorial. Um, today's tutorial is literally going to be how to file a flight plan and then connect into the network, obviously the other way around. So connect into the network and then file in a flight plan and then obviously from there we'll pick it up. I'm trying to keep the tutorials as short as possible just because I find it a lot easier for everyone to kind of, you know, learn in shorter, I mean I learn in shorter videos because having too long videos, I think it puts people off, but yeah. Um, I'm going to turn this music down because I can hear it very loud. And personally, I don't really want to be hearing MSFS right now, so it's going to turn all the way down. So, um, in terms of filing a flight plan, before you can connect to network and file a flight plan, you need to create the flight plan and have the right routing and everything like that. And it's very important. So, what you need to do is, well, personally, I use SimBrief. You can use any software that you think is usable for you. Personally, I would use SimBrief. Um, if you want to know how to file a flight plan um, through SimBrief, like properly in tutorial, I have a video on that and you the link will be in the description below. Um, click that if you want to know how to work SimBrief, obviously before you watch this video because I'm going to kind of be rushing through it a bit. So and when you get SimBrief, obviously what you want to do first is press create new flight. Once you get to create a new flight part, you want to fill in every single bit of information. So airline, we're going to be doing easy. Flight number, we're going to be 64 or 64. We're going from Gatwick and then we're going to go to a destination. Um, personally, we're going to choose Manchester. Okay, that's going to be the flight we use today, which is Echo Golf Charlie Charlie. Airframe or aircraft type is an A320. We'll just type that in. There we go. And then down here, as you can see, we have our routes. Analyze route, as you can see, is valid for the current air rack we're on. What you want to do here is leave it all, and then you come down here, and you can see our routing up to Manchester. This is the route that you'll be filing into uh, vPilot, into VATSIM, so the controllers will be able to see this flight plan and it will match what you see. If we say, if we had Welling here, but actually your flight plan had somewhere up here, but you filed it with Welling, but you're flying up this way, then your controller will be like, um, why are you up there? Like, you, you're going the wrong way. So literally, we need to copy all of this and then put it into vPilot. Obviously, there's a quicker way to do that rather than writing everything down, I'm gonna get to that. At the top, we're going to press save flight, like so, and then we're going to press generate OFP. The OFP. This might look a bit confusing to you and everything like that, but like I said, I have a video on there on how to read it all and everything like that. This is purely a VATSIM tutorial. So if you want to have a look at the um, uh, video, link is in the description below. All right, come down here, and as you can see, we have all of these download files that are downloadable. We want to click download file to vPilot, like so. We're going to download this file. Ta-da! So this file here, wherever you downloaded it, is pretty useful. We're going to come back to that in a second when we're back into the um, flight sim. So um, here, obviously, is all our OFP and everything that we'll be using for the flight. This doesn't You don't need this. All you need it for is your fuel, and that's about it. Um, I like to use it all, though, for all the weights and also our waypoints, our routing, any cautions, for example. So I use it quite for quite a bit. Um, but that's that part completed so next what I want to do is come into MSFS and load into the flight so we'll do that now so welcome to MSFS homepage this is where also we're going to load into our flight as we all know so we're going to click world map and we're going to do the exact same as we've done before so EGKK arriving EGCC don't really need this but we have it on there um, in actual fact, we don't really need it at all. We can just do EGKK. Um, Airbus liveries, here we go. We're gonna get the EasyJet livery. Obviously, that's what we're flying, EasyJet, there we go. Um, flight conditions, when you're on VATSIM, make sure you're flying in real world weather. You can't do any of this preset stuff because it, the controllers give you the weather. They give you the ATIS, and you need to be able to, you, you're online, when you're online, everything else is online, so you need to have the live weather on. Very, very crucial, that. Um, and then this is all we've got to do. Don't put in the arrival airport. It's not needed. I'm going to teach you how to all do that as well. So in the next video. And then we're going to press fly. Wait for it to load. And then we'll get into the actual connecting phase of the flight. Hey everyone, welcome to London Gatwick. So welcome to London Gatwick. Here we are at stand. I think it's 107. Um, obviously, this is the default airport. There's no add-on scenery for Gatwick. So just kind of here. And it, actually, there's none at Manchester either. I just remember that. Um, so yeah, we're at Gatwick, and you're probably wondering now, well, how do I connect into VATSIM, and how do I get that flight plan all ready? 
well, here I am to show you. So, what you want to do first is open up vPilot. You can do that by going to the start and pressing vPilot or typing vPilot, however you want it. Make sure you run it as administrator. It's crucial you do that. Actually, I'll just show you. Um, if you don't run it as administrator, I have the problem like this. Um, if you don't run it as administrator, the problem I have with it is that my voice doesn't go through, doesn't pick up my voice. So even though I'm pushing to talk, it doesn't, my voice isn't heard. So it basically doesn't activate the voice. But yeah, it is weird. So we're going to connect. I'm going to type in the call sign that we use, if you remember, on Simbrew, which was easy64. Another type code, we're an A320. We are on A320 Neo, but it's not, doesn't pick up as A320 Neos yet, so we just have to type in A320. Because if I do that, it doesn't pick it up. If I do A32N, it doesn't know. So it's just an A320. Here we go. Um, once you clicked A320, you want to press connect. And here we are. We are now in, there you go, connected to voice server. We're now connected into that sim. Oh, hello. What was that? Oh, <laughs> look at that. We're inside a plane. That's not very good. So, obviously, this does happen quite a bit. Obviously, the day I did tutorial, this happens. Um, if you want to get this sorted out, it's pretty simple. Just disconnect and move to the next stand. Um, at the moment, I'm not going to because it's not P3 where you can your it. I mean, they've got to start everything up and move. So, yeah, we're just going to stay here for now. So, we're going to be disconnected very soon. Um, we want to go to vPilot. And then we want to press flight plan. And this is where your flight plan will be loaded. If you remember earlier on, we downloaded a file. Now this file is what we're going to load into here, so we don't have to fill this out, the, the file does it for us. So we press load, here we are, EGKK to EGCC. Pop that in, press open, and it gives us everything here. Departure, Gatwick, destination, Manchester, alternate airport, EGCM, whatever airport that is. Departure time, 3.15, so in about 25 minutes. Time on time en route is about 40 minutes, and the fuel available is 1 hour and 51 minutes. A crew, this cruise speeds you don't really have to touch at all, doesn't really mean anything. Cruise altitude is 24,000 feet. Now, this is our route, remember. So, the route I was saying about earlier on, as if I'm copying and writing this all down, we can literally just load the, f um, the file and it does it all for us. That's, that's why the file for me is the best option. Um, and then, remarks this is what Simbrief puts in. So, it puts in our um, tail number, which is obviously wrong. Just um, our airline, etc., our TCA, Simbrief. It just puts everything in there. Um, you don't have to fill that out obviously because it does it itself. Now, if you're if you're new to that sim and you don't want to start on the voice or anything like that, that's perfectly fine. I didn't start on voice. I started on text only, which is here. So you actually type to the controller and the controller will tell you back via texting. But that's that. And then once you've done this, once everything's here, you don't have to touch anything, you just press file flight plan. And now that has just pinged off to the controllers who are currently controlling Gatwick. Here you go, Tower and Atis. There's not a lot on, so I didn't tell on Atis at the moment. And these are people who are actually control in that week that's been filed to them. And there we are. That concludes this video. I hope it helped you a lot. Well, I mean, there wasn't a lot. But, um, yeah, so the next video will be about um, requesting clearance, putting in your flight plan um, into your MCDU, and et cetera, and all of that. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it's part of the series. So if you haven't seen episode one already, episode one will be in the description below. And it's also part of a playlist, so you can watch that. And I'll see you all in the next video. See you soon. Bye-bye.